is a permitted history of our house at 528 North Chestnut. As you can see, this is what is in our house all the time. But he is getting old. He likes this house. And he likes the people. And he shakes his tail and looks at him and says, Please, please bear me. <laughs> but it is so hard. <laughs> See that tail? Isn't that nice? Our other creature that stays home 100% of the time seems perfectly contented. So contented, he opens up the door. And he never comes out. So, he must like it in there, or he doesn't know any better. He's got his bell, and ladder, and trapeze, and all those good things. Good boy. He likes it. You like it? Huh? You like it? Then our dining room area, combination dining room, resting area, parlor, computer room, and on the wall is the words and some pictures. This is, we brought this from Arizona. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Psalms 92.12. Dan and Pam. Can't think of their last name. It starts with the V. And over here is a artifact that Nathan made. And of course we have Christmas cards. There's Kathy. Brian. Christian. Come on, I'm not doing that. There's other Christmas cards here. This is a view of our cabinet, built in cabinet. It isn't ours. So you can see up there, there's the bells at Rachel's collection. Crystal bells and all sorts of bells. Cat bell down below is a picture of Jeremy and Nathan when they were in uh, Kansas City at the Royals game. Back over here, there's Rachel at her prom night. A lot of books. Down below here is Christmas decorations and more books. Here's a little fella. Cowboy Nathan. I love you. Made by whom I don't know and all of our tapes. Yes. Uh, old picture when we lived in Arizona. There's Grant, Rachel. Put it up so you see me. You like my hair? Uh -uh. I dressed up for the camera today and to show you how wonderful. Oh, this is heavy. Don't go down there. Here's our Christmas tree. A little crooked. What? Why are you? What eye do you like to use? Well. So do I. It's my weakest one. I mean, that's not right. No, it isn't. I, I always sleep on my left arm. I go like this. 
my pillows over my this side and my pillows and I over it. You want your pink stuff on your face this morning? We're going to have to wash it anyway to put the makeup on. Good, man. Two of my children. And way off in Arizona. Actually, this is Mexico, probably. There's a super station somewhere. Lots of cactus. Especially saguaros. Christmas shelf. Snowman or whatever. Down below is that footprints. Actually, we've had a long time. He loves me, he loves me, he loves me. He didn't love me. About that much. Remington, Rachel. There's our Christmas tree. It's still day, so we'll get a night picture of it, but I'll show you all the decorations. And behind the Christmas tree is a montage of different pictures. Just a lot of different ones. Won't make any comments. It's going out of focus, doesn't it? A little close. Ride him, horsey. Mendoza. Basket with some dried flowers really pretty don't look at the drapes please probably look pretty good though in a picture yep. and a ribbon first place my my first place ribbon in the kitchen we find a very, very busy table. Christmas decoration and pills and vitamins. We never get it cleared off. These go. The 
fire extinguisher, which probably doesn't work. And our bulletin board, and there's a picture of the Diggs. The day that Donna and Earl were married. Our door is that picture that David made for us. Table with the Bible on it. And the refrigerator with all its little magnets and different things. And you name it. There's an upslip. Which means someone got a uh, praise at work, at school. Hey, there's Cheryl. When she was little. And there's the Fawcett family and Mickey, Minnie Mouse and all sorts of things. That one we just got from Grandma Fawcett. That nice. Mooses and all sorts of things, a boot, hat. Of course, we really do like our refrigerator. It's, it's efficient, a little small, but does the trick. And there's a Jayhawker. Go into our bathroom. Here's some penguins on the towels. Our shower. I've had that for a while. And over here is from Carl and Ann Jackson. It's a discard they had. We took it. Through Reading Limited. Two short stories and poems. Well then, as we progress up the stairs, or before we go up the stairs, we'll go into Jeremy's room. Small bulletin board with different things on it. A stadium. Hundred dollar bill. Saguaro cactus. And some guy from the Bulls. That's basketball. Sea World. Here's his favorite player, the King of Thing, Nolan Ryan. Nice Christmassy scene. Here is football picture. Enter at your own risk. What else we have? This lamp. A shoe. A trophy, his clock, a lamp, Grandma and Grandpa Fawcett, poster that uh, Casey gave him, bike, isn't he cute? show off his gift, birthday gift. This is from the balls. Flying high. Space. Michael Jordan. Wow. Walker player. Extraordinaire. Jeremy Massey. And his group photo, I bet he can't name one person that's in that besides him. Power. Tower of power. License to jam. Jackson.
double trouble looking at his room you think he likes sports and I think you'd be right A girl. You believe this bed is made? No, he makes it right before he goes to bed. That's what he does. Tennis anyone? Oh, there's me. Hi. Meat closet. That's all I'll show with that. Jerome, you see this place where we hang our coats it isn't too good. Swing up stairs. Oh, these are steep stairs. You know how hard this is when I... Two o'clock in the morning and I just had to go to the bathroom. And then this fellow right here, he happens to be sleeping right now. Making your life miserable as he rolls around in his little roller thing. Ah. <sighs> 91? Huh. This is the room to enter at your own risk. <laughs> so many, so many pictures. I'll just add them up on the wall. Down and back. Make you dizzy just seeing it all. Look at that corner. She was going to sell those a while back so she could get a car. This one she's had a while. A boy. Well, that is cartoons. about an elephant. Did you get the idea she somehow likes animals? It's Arizona too. Arizona. Cabbage patch. With all documentation. Now here's a cow girl door meow and who do we have on this wall? Curtis and another creation. Oh, I gotta get this. See it from this angle. Get it wide out of here. Now watch it change. Wow, oh, that'd be spectacular. Whoa, look at that. Neato, neato, neato. Once more for visual effect. Isn't they get wonderful? Not just clowning around, but this is a circus poster. And more animals. Wait, there's an animal. Oh, two animals, her brothers. Maybe she's not all serious, there's something she made. Now wonderful. Basket, car, cup. Wow, and over here is Another picture of one of her brothers. Where is he? Oh, there. Something from one of her grandmothers. I don't know which one. Granddaughters are special.
academic letters just like the football players get what who is this The most busy part of our whole room is this little shelf here. Hundreds and hundreds of things. Including a clown. That's for her little animal. Her trophy. They're one and only. Tennis balls. Is that where they are? So many things. Quick ring. Uh, I mean swing into Nathan Drum. What? What's it say up here? Corral. Okay. Corral. Room that has lots of things too, including. A baseball player and Noah's Ark. Seattle Mariners. He always gets Jeremy to hand him down. Picture he drew. Some posters. I love you, Nathan. Ball uniform. And there he is the Royals. McGee and me. And then he has a star in the break making McGee and me. Tennis. Well, Kurt Drake's in the front, but there's a tennis racket in the back there. And then all his cowboys. Bang. Bang. has memorized this whole map of the world. Almost. Well, I asked him once where he lived and he, I think he showed me somewhere in there. This is what he sleeps with. Quite a few friends, I'd say, wouldn't you? Gooba gooba doo! And his shelves. Lots of things on his shelves. What? Nathan? What's Hi, going on? Huh? Where you been? What'd you get? Shopping. What's that? My jazz shirt. Hold it up so I can see it. You getting ready for tonight? Yeah. Tonight? I mean tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, jazz. Looks jazzy, jazzy. <laughs> Does it fit you? That's good. Dad, I have your Christmas present outside. I bought your Christmas present. You bought mine? Is it nice? What is it? You always want to use it. Really? 
Like what? Um, hello? What's going on? Finished my Christmas shopping, almost. You did? What'd you get? Something for your mom, and something for us, Rachel. Something for you, and something for Grandpa. That's all you'll buy? Yeah. Oh, and something for Jeremy. Yeah. Dad, close your eyes. Okay. Bring up your thing so he can get it up and wrap it. 5.30. I quit. What? Early. Well, how are you going to get to those people? I got him. I got him. Is that the bull? Or is that the bull? No, I can say he's full of bull. No, he's covered with bull. Let me see the front. That's real heavy, Jeremy. He's going to wear that when it's 60 degrees out. I don't need to coat it. He'll be a sweat hog. I need to coat it when it's 16 now. Yeah, well, it's 16 tomorrow. Think you wear it? No, because I'm going to wrap it up and put it under the tree. This is stupid. <laughs> Why? Not, if you're going to buy it, you know what it is. You should do whatever you want. It's just a Christmas present, but it's early. No, you're going to wrap it up and put it under the tree. So it look big and early. Oh, it looks it's just right. Very, very just small. right. It's a small. It's a but you can wear it two years. Look. It's a small size, small. The medium was huge. Look at the hood, too. Oh, wow. It's nice. It's That's only the kind of jackets. Starter. Sports jackets. It's real. And it was 20% off. 20%. Don't even tell them. <laughs> Bulls. Oh! White socks. It's huge, yeah. Full camera. Too bad. When did you get home? <laughs> 12.30. It's on the stairway. All the way down. Boy, those are steep stairs. Bye. See you later. Index, what's that mean? What? It said index. Go ahead. You filming now? Yeah. Oh, you feel me if I shoot and make it or not? Yeah.
going to take a three. Back off. You're going to give me a free shot here. Your free shot, you know I won't make it. <laughs> Watch the shot, I'm going for it. Just the mirror, like. Just what? No. Just like focus and say, huh? It's automatic. Just keep the people in the frame. I am. Shoot! Shoot!
Oh, Dad, you didn't. <laughs> Not always. Go, Albert. <laughs> oh, he gets it. Easy shot. Is that called a toilet bowl? Yep. Nathan. Thank you. Bye. Nathan goes for it. No. Hook. Puts it.
right, so that's the results for that one. Let's take a look at Julie taking a shot up and in. Nice little two-handed shot, a swish. And we got our winner, Matt, right here. Matt, how did it feel to be, uh, you know, flying through the air on that one? Just like flying, being a bird. Being a bird, flapping his wings. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and check out our scores right now. Mo. First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Matt in purple, tying in second Allison and Julie with 200 points each. Okay, fly, Robin, fly. Plenty more to play. <laughs> Time for Jules to spill her guts, so Julie, spill your guts. Jumping, Julie Arnold is 12 years old. She likes to ski both on water and snow. She admits that she thrives on adventurous hikes in the mountains of Wyoming. All right, and that's jumping, Julie. The hills of Wyoming, we're calling her. Well, time for a little tennis, my friends. The Extreme Arena eating up for a little tennis. Imagine Monica Sellis, Martina Navratilova, and Jim Curry are all serving at you simultaneously. Bang, bang, bang. That's what's going to happen in this next event. We like to call it aces. Let's go, go both of the rules. Oh. Steady, my At the sound of my whistle, all three players will have 30 seconds to hit as many tennis balls across the net as possible. The player with the most returns wins. So, on red... Doing excellent. Six. I'm telling you, folks, she's bumping her way around the court. Mo, what's the result? Julie returns 10 seconds. I need to get other 
refrigerator. Typical day in the life of Rachel Massey as she goes back upstairs. Nope, she's going in the living room. She's going to sit down. She looks so lovely in her whoops blanket. Revel is trying to find her. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, wrapped for Christmas. Who can this little fella be with the behind? Bottoms up. I wonder what that Nathan is that looking for. Hey, <laughs> Rebel.